What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of the biggest foolery that ever hit fresh from the Fresh and Fit Podcast has done it again. If this boy is not the biggest, I don't know what you want to call him. He is ruining that brand left and right and don't even realize it. He's always getting caught up and getting hung up on a girl. That's his problem. The dating guru keeps falling in love. There it is. So y'all check this out. He uh, supposedly got another young lady in trouble. And uh, I mean, it's already out, so y'all already know about it. But now, you know, the phone calls and everything is out where she want him to do this and that. So let's check it out. Let's I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. You know? Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Why did I do anything to you? Nothing. What? Why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. That's all. I mean, I go to the to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Because I'm like, there's no way that that's true. But then I said, oh, wow. like. So just think about it. It's mean to be. God, wants, God wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're, relate, in a relate, you're fucking me for a month. And I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, it now, I just think about it, if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you're a sin. Okay, so now of course you know this is called all type of problems in their camp. Uh, Myron trying to still be on his side. I mean, he, he being a good friend about it, but what's up with this dude, man? What is up with him? This ain't the first time, man. I'm going to show y'all something. He had fallen for a girl about a year or so back, about two years ago. He got hooked on this girl from Philly and say she was deception to the rule. He was sipping big time for this girl. But it's killing their brand. And like some of the people that they deal with, you know, on their show, is starting to make comments now because they're supposed to be the dating gurus. Nobody gets over on them. They put it down. You don't put it down on me. And I like these boys, man, but I don't know what's going on with Fresh, why he keep doing this, but check out what some of the people. Okay, so let's just go and look at this, man. Fresh said he got 100 bodies, but gets tricked by a Chinese escort. Her being an escort to make Fresh look worse. Y'all should have kept that quiet. Fresh took a nail, gives advice, doesn't take none of it. Wow. Myron. He's your friend, not your child. Stop defending, grown man, blah, blah, blah. Sleeping with a 304 as a rich man without protection is pretty dumb. Yes, sir. So Fresh is out here raw dogging. Yep. Fresh is the exact example of what happens when you give a simp too much money. That covers that for sure. This brother is down and out. Wearing a raincoat is a lot better than... Everybody know about the phone call, the baby situation with the girl. Now, they keep trying to say the girl's a sex worker and all this. Uh, Myron is, you no know, talking all kind of crap about the girl. And to me, what's the point? 
your boy should have did all this work before he was falling for her and was treating her like she was his girl. Let's just be real. Why is your boy still running up in these women raw? Why? He's a prime idiot being a millionaire now and running up in these girls raw like this and expecting nobody to ever try to put a kid on him. But this dummy, he's so dumb that he actually, on his show, I don't know what year this was, but on his show, he said how he runs game to get women to get rid of the babies and calls it the Hail Mary. This is how dumb this dude is. So check the Hail Mary out that he claims once he get them pregnant. This is what he, this is the process he does with the girls and get out of it. That he claims. I don't know what girl do this, but you know, that's, that's, that's the All of a sudden they think that this kind of character assassination is gonna somehow lend credence to the fact that Fresh is asking her to get an abortion. And this is not the first time. I repeat. What? Fresh has done this to other women. And I wouldn't believe it if it came from another woman. But guess who it came from? Pug CEO himself. Go ahead. What's the worst thing you guys have done to a girl? So, if you guys know Tom Likas, there's some, something called the Hail Mary. Yeah. And like, oh, um, shit. basically. You really tell this story? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's okay, do so it. basically, right? I was with this chick and we were kind of like fizzling out. It wasn't working out. But she got pregnant. And then um, I kind of told her, like, yo, we could work this out. Don't worry about it. But we can't have kids right now. And then um, I did the Hail Mary. And now I'm here. No, tell them what the Hail Mary is. Tell them what the Hail Mary is. <laughs> tell them what it is. Okay. Go all the way. Okay, okay. So the Hail Mary is the first half of right? Where, like, you tell the chick what she wants to hear. And you can have kids later on. Make her get an abortion. You take her to her at McDonald's. Get a McGriddle. And orange juice, you sit her down, you tell her about life, and I, you started this happen, and you, you never see her again. Wait. That got really dark. That got really you can really give her a nicer meal. Again! You fing idiots! Whoa, Myra, don't pull out the knot. <laughs> Who? That. How can you snitch on yourself? that bad I mean how can you do it I mean he got to be the dumbest kid out here on the block but do y'all remember this girl a couple years ago from Philly that he had um, fallen so into here's a clip that um, over two years ago DJ Academics <laughs> was going in on it because he was telling him, it's like, okay, your brand is saying one thing, but you're doing another thing, you know? And he's trying his best to explain that this good old wholesome girl from Philly is not like the rest of these girls. She's an exception to the policy because he vetted her, fresh vetted her. And he also having sex, unprotected sex with her. Again, why? He only knew her for a month now, but he knew all this about her, and he's running up in her without. Her. Luckily, she didn't get that we know of, but she's kind of just disappeared. But after that, of course, they find all this stuff on her. You met her on a yacht, and the very short time you're like, I know for a fact she's with me for me. Explain. Okay, so you made some claims there just now, right? There were kind of uh, assumptions, and I understand because you don't watch the show all the time. <laughs> that being said, when I said that she's different from most girls, because she's not from Miami, she's from Philly, right? So if you know the game here in Miami, right? Most Miami girls are in a certain like bracket and a certain like uh, environment, and they all kind of do like the same things. Hold on. That being said, every girl's new to Miami, she's not really into that environment that well. So so as a first timer in Miami, right? She's not going to be in certain circles where they got passed around. Like, you feel me? Like, it's, it's kind of like a environment where things happen all the time and like have, follow like a certain pattern. Can that I being said, hold on, hold on, hold on. That being said, what does new to Miami mean though? Huh? 
what does new to Miami mean? Because she was born in Jersey. She just sat here for school, yeah. right? Is is everybody here born in Miami? I am. I'm you're born in Miami. Yeah, right? born and raised. You're, you're born and raised. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. but she's not. So right. so if someone moves here, mm-hmm. they're different. I'm saying at the beginning, they're not kind of like tainted by the Miami lifestyle because mm-hmm. Miami is very like I want to say good and bad at the same time because like in the environment it makes you turn a certain way. Either by the partying, the people you're Keep around, to the streets. and most girls that would have been good girls who come to Miami, turn to the streets. Here's what it is. So they turn home. That being said, if you meet a girl for the first time and she's in this environment and she's not a part of this, this whole cycle, you kind of got a chance because at the beginning, she only knows you. But she meets other players in the game where it's like, oh, like this is where I'm at. I can see all these guys. Then she's kind of saying, like, you know what? I got many options. Fuck this nigga. I'm going to just do what I got to do and get what I want. That, that being said, right? I invited her That's on the yacht. Line, that being said, I love it. <laughs> I invited her on the yacht, right, for a purpose to meet and talk to her. So the first time you met her, you invited her on the yacht. 100%. <laughs> and you left the yacht by saying, she's, she fucks with me for me. No, no, no. This is the time. Let me just stop it real quick, but I want you guys to pay attention to um, how Myron is, not Myron, but Fresh is trying to explain this and break it down to why he chose just this girl to be different than all these other girls. Simping 101. That's not even part of their brand. That's why DJ Academics is on him, because why you keep falling for these girls? It's like y'all supposed to be giving this whole blueprint out to all these young people how to do this and be out in this environment and date in Miami and all this stuff, but you keep getting caught up. You do. Now, this girl was two years ago. This Asian girl, recent. But he sound like a simp. 101. 101. So let's just see what else he got. It's some- where, like, I saw certain things. I saw what she's about, where she came from. I thought, okay, cool. I Dude, think about this, right? I've seen multiple chicks come to Miami all the time, get into a certain environment, and then they change completely. However, when they first come to Miami, they're not always into that environment where they, they make that change. Okay. So, 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 so what happens is that girls come to Miami, right? They meet some friends, they go out, they meet promoters, they meet celebrities, and then they go for the street. And then she's gone. And then she's gone. <laughs> You're Myron. And then, no, 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 no. Myron, Myron no, no, dying no, no, laughing finish. over there. Let me, let me finish. Mm. So I've experienced I'm eating alive after dating, <laughs> all, <laughs> no, dating multiple Balls. girls, mm-hmm. some from Miami, some from outside of Miami, France, Germany, wherever, right? So I've seen a cycle here. Now, that being said, when I met her, I saw she didn't, hadn't been tainted yet. She had to be in like in certain circles where like, you know what? Damn, she's gone through the streets. Mm-hmm. So I want to see she's where her, her head was at. And we meet on certain levels, we vibe. And regarding my vlog, she adds value to my vlogs. So, so you know what? I want to get to know her a little bit better. We're just vibing right now. Okay. So your whole argument of, oh, I'm going to be finessed by this no. chick. No, 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 I didn't say you that. Fin- okay. I didn't say that. Okay. I want, I want to make certain claims. Mm-hmm. So I, I, feel like, I feel like you're a little bit exposing yourself. How? Because the way you talk about women, especially because you're in Miami, mm-hmm. you just proved that saying that if she's here and she's new, those rules don't apply. You don't talk to just a Miami audience. You talk to an audience that's literally all around the world. Mm-hmm. So you're pretty much telling your audience, everything I tell you doesn't apply to y'all because you're not in Miami. Mm-hmm. I thought you were giving universal rules. That's hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're hold talking on. about her I got right you. Now. No, no, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I, I'm talking about how you are saying she doesn't apply to many things that you would say about the normal girl. No, no, it can't happen outside. I'm just saying that. Like, Second and, of all, uh-huh. I do want to ask a question. And by the way, mm-hmm. the chat's gonna be the jury. Okay. You said you know, number one, she was here for a short amount of time and she wasn't tainted, quote unquote. And you, you know, you have done the checks and balances to make sure she's not gonna be that. Could you at least tell the jury how long you've known her? One month. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just, just, okay. It's clown. One month. One month. He got her on the show, all snuggled up with him. Talking about she's different than all the other girls, like when dudes fall in love. She ain't like that, man. I mean, she's different, bro. You know what I'm saying? She's different. Nah, she's not. The girls on the Sugar Baby sites got dudes down the list. As soon as all this came out, everything came out about her. Same thing with this Asian chick. Now, they doing all their homework. She's supposed to be all this and this. 
And, uh, you know, Alvin Priest definitely going at it with these boys. They that's, they are enemies now or some shit. I don't know what's going on. But the girl said that uh, <laughs> she said she going to name the baby after Alba from Alvin Priest because he made a bet. Well, he told her he'll pay her legal fees if she named the baby. If she keep the baby and name the baby after him, he'll take care of her legal fees. Y'all hear this, man. I'm going to close out. This shit is hilarious. Say this. Step in the name of love. If you end up having legal troubles and they sue you and whatever, if you name that kid after me, I'll pay for all your legal troubles. That's a promise. Okay. So as you see, it was put out there. Now the thing is, will she take it? Will Daisy jump on it? It's like, I'm going to get that little ass and I'm going to get his ass. And I, I got these lawyer fees paid up. Oh, yeah. We're going to get that ass. Especially if that's his baby. And, hey, she only one know. Um, let's see. What do y'all think? Hit me in the comments. What you think? You think Daisy took it? Well, she goes on the Just Tree podcast and... She let the world know what she's going to do. And that surprised me and everybody else what she said she's going to do. And that shit is hilarious. So just to appreciate it. Shout outs to them for getting this. And uh, y'all make sure y'all check them out. And I got to show y'all what she got. She's not going to name the baby Abba, okay? Um. <laughs> no, I am. I am. Wait, I am. You want to give the middle name Abba if it's a boy? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he he deserves nothing. He deserves no, nothing. He doesn't want to be in the child's life at the beginning. He wants to kill that baby. So why would he deserve anything? He's his baby. He's ashaming his baby's mother, letting someone else get into his his own relationship, letting someone else ashaming the baby mother. He deserves nothing. That baby, that child's name is Abba. Abba. <laughs> I don't okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, this has turned into a whole circus, man. This turned into a circus. She said, I'm going to name that baby after Abba. Fuck that. <laughs> Oh, man, dude would be so mad, especially if you do a DNA and that's his kid for real. Oh, my man. Oh, man. Bruh, if this your kid, you're going to be paying. She's going to get you from pain and suffering, all that stuff, all that. You better pray this ain't your kid, but you can't because you know you were squirting up in her for three months. Why? This is, oh my God. Guys, I ain't got no more on this, man. I just want to, I got some more later, but we'll talk about that later, man. I just want to bring that up to show how ridiculous this dude is. And you supposed to be this dating guru out here. <sighs> Come on. Well, guys, that's all I got. It's your boy and I'm up out of here. And hey, y'all, wear condoms. All right? Wear condoms. And it's your boy and I'm up out of here. Ha, 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 ha.